Welcome back and joining us on the show now is Rajiv Budraja. He's Director General at uh, Automotive Tire Manufacturers Association. Rajiv, hi, thank you so much for joining us. First of all, on the rubber prices itself, because we've seen stronger gains in last few weeks and months, holding around that 200 rupees per kg mark. How has that impacted the industry? Uh, well, first of all, uh, I think rubber prices today are at a 13-year record high, having crossed 200 and now, you know, hovering around 205 and 6 mark. Uh, that by itself is, you know, from the consumer perspective, a point of concern. But I think uh, more than that, it's the availability, you know, that is uh, uh, sort of, you know, uh, become a major concern for the tire companies. Even at these prices, domestic rubber is not available. And uh, there is hardly any visibility seen, you know, going forward also uh, for multiple reasons. So, so at this point of time, both price and its uh, domestic availability are the two major concerns for the tire industry. Mm. Rajiv, tire industry demand itself, what is uh, the number that we are working with in sense of an year-on-year year year demand growth? See, last year, uh, our consumption was almost uh, 14.25 lakh tons. Uh, this year, I think uh, we've uh, uh, we are anticipating an increase of anywhere between five percent to eight percent, which would be in line with the GDP growth. Uh, that's a number we have shared with Rubber Board also. Uh, and whereas on the production side, uh, you know, we still continue to be around eight, eight and a half lakh tons. So that gap of almost forty percent between. Uh, domestic demand and supply is only going to widen going forward. So that is, you know, the medium and long term uh, overall, you know, shortage or shortfall between demand supply that continues to be a concern. Although, as you may be aware, tire companies have collaborated with the government for uh, rubber planting of two lakh hectares in the northeast which we hope will take care of the incremental demand going forward. That's good to know. Rajiv, also, uh, since there is very strong demand within India, and as you said, the dependence on imports for a larger chunk is still there, how are you looking at the international markets? Because all the figures that are available globally as well suggest that it is going to be a deficit year in the global markets also. Because by the end of March, we're looking at global inventory stock declining year on year. And when you look at the global study group numbers, those also are a bullish picture. Well, climatic factors, you know, are putting pressure on rubber supplies uh, globally across uh, all the ASEAN countries, uh, parts of Africa also. Uh, however, you know, the demand uh, continues to be bullish primarily in India, you know, because China still uh, hasn't come back, you know, in its uh, earlier, uh, with its earlier growth numbers. So I think whereas for the rest of the world and other countries, uh, overall demand uh, side, you know, the growth may not be so encouraging, but India you know, thanks to our, uh, uh, you know, status of being the fastest growing emerging market, I think uh, here the situation is quite positive from the demand side, whereas supply continues to be muted. And that's the reason, you know, tire companies are now sourcing large quantities internationally so that there is no disruption in production. Mm. Rajiv, also with budget around the corner, is there something that tire come, come, you know, as a sector or rubber as a sector is putting forth as suggestions or expectations that you would have? Uh, our, uh, if I may say, perennial demand continues to be that, you know, considering the overall uh, natural rubber situation that we just discussed, uh, you know, the deficit between domestic demand supply, the overall pressure of uh, availability. Uh, Atma has always been seeking, you know, duty reduction on rubber uh, because this continues to be at 25%, which is much higher than the duty on tires. So uh, the, the added, if I may say, you know, concern is that there is a, a inverted duty structure for tire industry and we hope, as in the past, that it will get addressed and uh, resolved in this coming budget. 
Okay. Okay, all right, Mr. Budhi Raja as well as Manisha, thanks very much for taking us through that conversation. Well, on that note, we need to wrap up with the news that we have the Nifty, the Sensex, the Midcap Index, as well as the Bank Nifty trading with gains of around anywhere between two tenths to three tenths of a percent. It's a wrap on halftime report. Business lunch up next.